can now lease your Harley Davidson motorcycle. to another video guys I'm here with the coolest white guy I know Jerry 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 boom it's been a while man it's been a while. my boy my main man Jerry listen we got some I don't know I don't know if I haven't seen anything on YouTube about this or anyone speaking about this um, and then Jerry brought it to my attention I'm like wait wait a minute this is this is a cool idea like, let's let's talk about this um, so you can now lease your Harley Davidson motorcycle. So long gone are the days of you just financing a bike and owning it outright and that's it and you buy another bike or whatever case may be. Um, now you're gonna kinda have the option as like a, a car buyer where you're kinda able to lease a motorcycle, um, use it, give it back to them at the end of your lease, like a lease, you would have the option to buy your bike outright or trade it in and get another one. Um, I think it's a pretty cool idea in a way, like, it kind of really, really opened my eyes I think up. that's a great idea, actually. Um, so, real quick, I'm, I'm just going to read off real quick from the Harley Davidson website. So, this is on the Harley Davidson website. So, if you guys, you guys want to go in there and read on yourself, you can go ahead into financing and and, and just, just read up on this. But it's, it's really, really, really cool. So, it's called HC Flex Financing. And it says, an alternate way to purchase your next Harley Davidson motorcycle that combines the benefits of attractive monthly payments and the ability to return your motorcycle at the end of your term, similar to a lease. All right, flexibility, multiple end of term options to enhance your HD motorcycle ownership experience, pay off your current bike to own it outright, trade in, refinance, or return it to an authorized dealership at the end of your term. Shorter terms, uh, customize your payment period with either a 36 or 48 month term, which is pretty good. A shorter time frame than a standard financing option, which is awesome. Now, here is the big kicker. This is what's like really attractive uh, to anyone who doesn't want to have a $600, $500, $700 payment at the end of every month, right? So, attractive monthly payments. Enjoy your break from traditional buy-in and leasing by making monthly payments as low as $311 on a Grand American Touring models with 10% down. There's a kicker as well. And the final balloon payment of 10771 is 66 cents, just to round it off, due at the end of your 48-month term. So you're going to have a payment of $311. You're going to have to put 10% down, which, three grand, which is usually on a, on, a, on a lease or any financing. You'd always ask you for a 10%. Um, and then at the end of your term, if you want to buy that bike outright, it's going to cost you $10,700. let us just say $11,000, all right? So, um, what, what, do you, what do you think about that? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea. It'll get people in. It's, it's only for the Grand American Touring, the trikes, and I think the CBOs mm -hmm. or whatever. So it's the higher end bikes, mm -hmm. which are, you're paying a lot of money expensive for. Expensive bikes, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, they're not doing it on soft tails yet or whatever, but I, I guess they'll see how it works or whatever. But to put down 10%, then pay the payments. At least you're only paying 300 a month or 400 a month versus six, seven, 800. We have friends that pay like almost $800 a month for a bike. That's yeah, a lot. That's a lot of money. <laughs> that's crazy. You know, and so yeah, it's going to vary on your credit, I guess, or whatever, but at least well. it gives you the option. And then, I mean, it's not for somebody who's going to go build their bike and dump $20,000 into is, it. Yeah, that, that's what that's it's nice going to be for somebody like, say, I, say I'm looking at, I want to get an ultra for me and my wife just to ride on. Which you've been talking about for, for a, a long, long time, time, but I don't want a $600 payment. But now, maybe now I'll do a $300 payment or a $400 payment. I just put slip-ons on the thing for three, four years, ride the shit out of it with her, because I'm not going to really change anything on the ultra, because yeah, yeah. I have custom stuff on my other bikes. And just ride it, and then when I'm done, I can return it. If I'm in love with the bike, buy it out, right? Mm -hmm. If it's a piece of crap, I turn it back into three years or whatever. If it, if for I'm a new in, one or something yeah, different, or something different, I think it's, yeah. it's a great idea. At least cars for years. Yeah. You know, and it's maybe some people say it's not the best idea, but I mean, you don't know what's going to happen in three, four years. They change, they change the body styles again. Then, yeah. Then you're like, hey, I want a new bike. I, I think the, the the biggest gripe that people have uh, when it comes to owning any type of vehicle, whether it be in a car or motorcycle, is after you have that 
a vehicle or, or motorcycle for four or five years and then it's like you paid x amount of money for it yeah and then you want and then you're there ready to sell it or trade it in and the value is highly highly deflated oh yeah you know so let, let, let's just say you're, you're paying 30 grand for for a bike right you go in and trade it in a year or two later and then they're offering you 21 or 15 or 15 you know and it's like and so 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 that gets you thinking it's like why am i buying this or why am i gonna get into another mess of buying another motorcycle lose out all the money that i already put in plus all the parts that i added on and this and that and i'm 15 grand into parts and this and it's like you're not gonna get all that back so th this option right here like a lease option is 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 very attractive mm -hmm. you know not let's say you know for a person like me i wouldn't do it just because i love to you, you guys seen what I've done on my bike. I, I, I like to transform my bikes and add my own touch to it. But for a person who kind of just wants to ride, they don't really care about all the parts and accessories. Mm -hmm. Like they just really want to get on the road. That's the type of person that's going to be doing the 40, 50,000 yeah. miles. If you're um, crushing miles, that's what you If you're crushing about. miles and that's all you care about is just riding, 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 it's a great option for you. Really, really good option for you. For a person who's going to be dumping 15 to 20 grand in parts and make your bike look yeah, different, no, it's not a good option. It's not an option for you. My opinion. I don't know. You might be, you might be thinking different, but I mean, unless you're going to put these parts on and take them off at the end, then it's like, well, for what? Yeah, exactly. You know. Um, but it's a, it's a, it's a really, really good option, and I, I, I think it's, 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 it's awesome, man. And like you said, it's an option. You don't have to do it. You don't have to. Like in, I, in the past, I, all my bikes. I try not to finance, so all my bikes are not financed. So I, right now I have... Big ball of Jerry. It, it's, <laughs> there's downsides, because now I got 30, 40 grand into a bike that they're telling me is worth 12. Yeah. So now, like, you know... What year's your bike? 2018. Hmm. So I put all this money into a bike, and but you know what it is, I'm, I'm just going to keep it. So, because it doesn't pay for me to get rid of it or whatever, but if, if for the, the new bike, I didn't want to buy a new bike and put out, you know, thirty, forty thousand dollars again. I don't want to do that. So I would pay three, four hundred a month yeah. and just ride it out. Like you said, just just ride it. Yeah. Maybe put slip-ons and just ride it. Yeah, for sure. That's it. I won't do anything. That's why I'm gonna buy an ultra, because I want it done. <clears throat> I mean, I, I've I've had the opportunity to meet a lot of people within the motorcycle community within the last few years and you know, I've met a lot of people that just build all bikes, build, 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 yeah. they make them crazy. Our group of friends, they just like, we're crazy with parts and just mm -hmm. making our bike look different. I've also met a large part of the community that just loves to ride. I've met people with bikes that are just bone stock mm -hmm. and they're riding all over the country. They're not even all over the country, they can just, just have the bike just to have it. Yeah, yeah. And um, they, they, they don't really don't care about that. They just want to ride, you know? Um, and it's a it's an awesome option. Now, <clears throat> it's only offered on the, on the touring bikes. Touring, CVO, and trikes. Yeah. So let's just see how this how, how how this wave goes because if later on, let's say they drop that uh, incentive down to the soft tails, where now you're able to get yourself a soft tail for a couple grand down, you know, two hundred grand a month. down, two hundred a month, something like that. I think that's gonna incentivize. That would bring a lot of young lot. people in. And a that's gonna be my next point. That is gonna how I think Harley is gonna be able to bring in that younger crowd in because now it's like all right now. Now I could get into Harley Davidson, and now I had to pay three, four hundred dollars a month. I could pay, let's just throw a number, two hundred dollars a month. Yeah, right. Fifty for 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 a soft tail, right? Which is like, yeah, you know what what, what an entry person going to Harley kind of wants right away. It's like they want a little rider rest. They want a street bike. Yeah, pay like two two know? fifty a month. And um, that that's I think to incentivize it that way, I think it might be great. Um, <clears throat> you you might have a different outlook on what you think about the whole flex financing thing or lease whatever you but want to call it option. but it, it's an option right I, th I think i think it's a pretty cool option um, i think it's going to open up a lot of eyes i think it's going to bring more people in or mm -hmm. i think people uh who, who were on the fence about buying a more expensive bike because they don't want to drop 30 40 grand are going to be like well you know what just like you like i could do that now you know i don't i didn't want a 600 dollar payment or yeah, 700 dollar payment but i can afford a, but I, a, I could do 300 dollar payment yeah you know I, that's easy you know you know what at the end of the, at the end of the term if i want to buy it Mm -hmm. I owe eleven thousand dollars. If I don't, I'm gonna get that that next new model that's out that year. That's right. Which is pretty awesome. So or just turn it back and 
So you can walk away. Yeah. You don't have to buy anything. What, whatever, whatever it is. So uh, uh, having options is always great. And you're not stuck selling it either, or, or being stuck with it with a, with a <laughs> sea of fucking Harleys you can't get rid of. That, that's a good thing about leasing, and that, look, just like you, like I've I've leased, all, I've I've purchased a lot of cars, mm -hmm. cash, used cars. I've um, financed brand new cars, yep. and I, I've leased a bunch of cars. So the the last few, maybe four or five cars that I've had, have been leased. And I, me personally, it works for me. I have the car for you know three years or so. I use the hell out of it. Go back and and, and I got a brand new car again. Yeah, you know, I've done it. Um, with, with with the way the market is with the car uh, uh car market, for me it's a better option just to, to lease because the amount of value that you use that you lose it's insane. Mm -hmm. So to me it's not worth it, especially when you're buying a high end vehicle. Um, I've had brand new Mercedes, Lexus, BMWs. I've had all that Big stuff. Boy. So. <laughs> that, 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 that was in the past before I had kids and everything. Um, I, I've I've done all that, man. And and the, the amount of value that those cars lose within a year or two, it's 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 insane, man. Yeah. So I I learned my lesson from that. Um, I like the leasing option. Yeah. You know, um, Harley Davidson leasing motorcycles. What do you guys think about that? Do you approve? Do you not approve? Does it interest you? Do you not care? Anything else you want to add on, sir? No, like I said, I think it's a great option. It's an option that you... All right, because I know you've been wanting this limited for a long time. Mm. Is it something that you're really thinking about right now, even though you're about to do some crazy stuff to your bike right now? Yeah. You're dumping another three or four grand into it? Well, I'm going to keep my bike, though. Okay. But I'm going to... Like I said, it's just for me and my wife to do, like, long di longer distance touring or whatever. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. I mean, you know... I mean, you also got two other bikes in your garage as well. Yeah, I know. You know? We'll see. Big ball of Jerry in the building. Anyways, if you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that bell button. So I don't know if I anytime I upload any type of new content. Like always, let the person with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Peace. Oh, that was good. That was good. I think it's a good option.